welcome to the 2013 District 4 Workers Memorial Ceremony. I'm Joey Crocker, Chief of the Office of Health, Safety and Training. <clears throat> I would like to start by extending a warm welcome to all of you, Caltrans employees, families of our honorees, and other distinguished guests. The ceremony is a chance for us to remember those who have lost their lives building, maintaining, and operating California's world-class transportation system. I would like to thank all of you for taking this time to reflect upon the great sacrifice made by those we love, lost, and miss. The safety of our roads and our workers is not just a goal, it is our priority. We do all we can to provide a safe environment for the public and our workers when they meet on our roadways. We continue to team with the California Highway Patrol with our MAZIP and our COZIP program. The presence of the CHP officers in our work zones brings a heightened awareness of our employees and encourages good driver behavior. We recently installed signs at 100 locations statewide to further enhance the move over law that tells motorists to slow down, watch out for highway workers, and safely move over a lane when they see flashing lights of Caltrans vehicles and other emergency cars. We're continuing improving and implementing methods to secure and safeguard highway work zones to maintain our roadways and to minimize workers' exposure to live traffic. CHP and Caltrans are sister agencies in transportation. We are partners in keeping the highways, uh, highway travelers safe. Caltrans and the CHP share the determination to assure that those fallen comrades and family members are never forgotten. Their names enter our hall of heroes. We pledge that they will be honored regularly as long as our organizations exist. In the last few years, Caltrans and the CHP have partnered in safety training to keep each other safe in the dynamic freeway, highway, and construction environment. We work together in construction and maintenance zone enhanced enforcement programs, and the Highway Patrol works with contractors who work alongside both of us at work zones. We're also getting the word out to the public about the move over, slow down law that Bijan mentioned that protects members from both of our organizations as we work alongside the road. When you lose a team member, it's like losing a family member. You miss them. The foundation is here to help in times of need from workers who are still on the job and, of course, those of their families who have lost their lives. But the most important thing I would hope is that we are never needed again to help out any family of a Caltrans worker who dies in the line of duty. It's a great honor and privilege to be speaking here in front of you as part of remembering and honoring our brothers and sisters who have lost their lives serving Caltrans and the people of California. I've been with Caltrans for 31 years, and most of those years I have worked out there on the roadways, roadsides, bridges, so I know firsthand the potential danger that Caltrans employees are exposed to every day. And I myself had some close calls during those times I was performing my duty as field electrician. It is but by the grace of God that I'm standing here in front of you, speaking. The point being, it could happen to anybody, any time. Caltrans safety goal is to provide the safest transportation system in the nation for users and workers. And all of us at Caltrans with our partners at CHP and all in transportation and in the construction industry, we must be daily champions of safety for each other. Through planning, design, construction and maintenance, we're managing our risks together, together, smarter and safer. We've launched the Move Over Renewed campaign recently from the Move Over Slow Down Law, which the legislator passed in 2007 and updated in 2010 to include Caltrans vehicles. 
That campaign asked motorists to remember these five easy tips for driving safely in highway work zones or anywhere there are orange cones or, or lights from emergency vehicles or Caltrans vehicles. Reduce speed significantly. Allow for extra following room. Expect sudden stops. Avoid distractions. Put that cell phone down before you turn the key and never drive impaired. Mr. Tim Merritt, we appreciate you. It has been 10 years that you have been playing for us uh, for the Workers' Memorial. I definitely want to acknowledge you for that. Thank you so much. Tim Merritt, everyone. Vicki Meister. To those who paved the way so we could build the future. All the highway workers across this great state who lost their lives in the line of duty. We honor you and your loved ones as we share in their loss of you. You were different ages, different people. You had been with us only a short time, but in our hearts you'll always be with us. Your death came much too early. This requiem honors you and all you've done for us. You are a mother, father, a sister, or a brother. A single parent, a son, or daughter. You are loved, remembered, and appreciated. You've been more to us than you'll ever know. Death may have taken you from us, but we'll never forget what you did. You tried to make the highways, roads, bridges, tunnels and tubes safer for us to travel. You sacrificed the ultimate, and you deserve no less in return. This poem honors you. You'll be forever young in our minds, hearts, and prayers. Bless you, and thank you so very much. The names of our fallen co-workers, Robert Adams, Donald Anderson, Hugh Bonner, Charles Boyle, Juwan Bush, Donald Caldwell, William Calloway, Tad Clement, Paul Cody, Jerry Corey, Ani Fletcher, Wayne Glenn, Newell Grover, Walter Johnson, Brian Cavanaugh, Harold Layerman, Robert McCain, Richard McQuillan, Cecil Meekham, Sean Merriman, Joseph Nito Jr., Deborah Ross, W. R. Shaw, John Spargo, Emery Spencer, Perry Stiltz III, Carl Tardito, Harold Teeple, Roger Vandenbork, Chuck Warner, Billy West, Frederick Wilhite, Daniel Wong. Always remember to slow for the cone zone and to slow down or move, over <clears throat> or move over safely when you see our highway workers and flashing lights ahead. Thank you. <laughs> 